Dudley Toolwright's channel sticker going up on the board. So I think we'll put him here underneath Vern. Okay, Dudley Tool Right has a good channel worthwhile checking out. I should put one of mine up there too, eh? But uh, seeing this one's the last one in existence, I'll hold off till I get some more printed, which the printing shop's doing at the moment. Okay, let's swing you around and get down to business. Well, okay, we've um, had a bit of a risk, what I'd call a rescue package sent over from the USA from. Dudley Toolwright. So we've just put one of his channel stickers up on the board. And uh, these are his other stickers. Let's start there. And a letter. So, thanks mate. Appreciate it. So what we have, he sent us over some stones for the ID grinder. And a little cup type one as well. Some um, grinding wheel stones for the tool post grinder. So they will come in very handy. Scriber, it's a general scriber. Um, a Starrett little engineer scale. Machinist scale and a, another machinist scale, 6 inch, it's a precision number 234 and also a selection of tool steels like from 3 sixteenths, quarter, 5 sixteenths, going up to, to these larger sizes here. So there's a Momax and Rex 95. Um, yeah, these ones, form tools have been some interesting grinds on them, especially this one, because it has a bit of a, well, she's been ground for, our, so I'd say, aluminium or some type of plastics, because it has a radius, the top rate is radius all the way around. It's probably a bit hard to see, but this is a really interesting grind on that one. Yeah, I've never seen one ground like that before. So all these will get good to put use. Get good to put use, get put to good use. <laughs> These big ones will get a lot of use when we um, start doing the profiling on our Baby Bullet future project later on. And uh, these little Rex 95s. The right size for my boring bar. And so it's the quarter and three sixteenths for a smaller bar. So. <coughs> okay, I'm still here. <laughs> so, thank you very much, Rob. Um, muchly appreciated. Cheers. So, if you haven't already checked out his channel, Dudley Toolwright, um, worth paying a visit. So, okay, we'll move on with our project for the day. Okay, so today's project will be to make an adapter so we can use our jig grinding tool in the milling machine. So it's virtually a socket, reduced a socket we machine up for the stem here. So this is 3 quarter OD, so we need an adapter to take it down to 18 millimeter to suit our, the boring head. So I'll just make it out of this bit of uh, 4140. This has been heat treated. and down towards, it was, I think it was about inch and three quarter, just under two inch diameter. Um, originally it was a bit of hydraulic ram. It's been the hardest bit, toughest bit of hydraulic ram I've ever machined, so I've machined quite a lot of the stuff, so we'll get that done. And then with the remaining piece of stock, we'll make a 
small um, arbor to mount the slitting saw because I don't have one currently to suit the 7-8 diameter. So once that's done, we can use the slitting saw, we can get on and knock out the new adapters for the way wipers on the lathe. So we'll get this chucked up and get some turning done. I went past a um, tool shop the other, other day and uh, this set caught my eye. This is an um, Australian Sutton um, metric drill bit set. High speed steel. I'm not a big fan of um, cobalt drills. Some, you know, some uses, yeah, fine, great, but general use for me, I tend to shy away from them and go stick with the ordinary high speed steel. So, this is a metric set, drill index. Goes from um, well, probably three thirty seconds up to half inch. Uh, just kidding. One millimeter up to thirteen millimeter in half millimeter steps. Uh, Sutton's been around making tools in Australia for a long time since nineteen seventeen. Uh, it's generally the pick of the bunch with cutting tools that we have available to us in this country. So we'll get our material chucked up and I'll stop rambling on. Okay, we found a, a different piece of material. It's already the, the correct, or just a few thou above the um, larger um, diameter of the part we have to make. So we'll get it faced and get a centre in the end of it and we'll start on the 18mm section in the middle there. set up now so, so we're going to rough out this bore so we only want to go one inch deep so we're going to bring the tool up flush with the end of the part just with, without touching the, the carbide tip on the part and we'll put our little starret scale along the part We'll bring the tool along to one inch and I'll set a zero down here on the saddle wheel. Okay. Let's take a trial cut through and then we'll get a size. Sing, so I'll slide down a bit.
so we just want a bit of a size of where we're heading. Seven hundred and seven. So we've got about forty thou. So we want to leave a bit of pudding there. So we'll take we'll take another thirty thou out of it. Twenty or thirty thou out of it would be fine. side okay we're 743 744 so we've got five or six now to come out for that um, to be finished so we'll, we'll um, just knock the burr off it <laughs> Leave it at that, that's all we're going to do with that. So, what we'll do now is we'll start on our 18 millimeter section. So, we're just taking the last of our roughing cut now.
So we're 0.3 of a mil up on size on our 18 millimeter end, and we're sixth our undersize on our three quarter bore. I'll just knock the sharp edges off that with a file. So our journals are both spot on concentric, it's all roughed out. Now if anything's going to move with the material, because we've taken the scallop out of here, now's the time it's going to do it, or it should have just done it as we were getting down to size. So here's the surprise. I think this will be part of it, this grinding wheel. So. You can probably guess what we're going to do. And maybe another grinding wheel. So we might do a bit of OD and ID grinding and finish this part, eh? Let's get set up. <coughs> okay, well, we've got the tool post grinder set up because we're going to grind the OD of our three quarter shaft. And then we're going to ID grind our 18 millimeter bore. So I've got one of these wheels set up from uh, one that Dudley Toolwright kindly sent to me. So we'll give it a, rip, a bit of a whirl. We'll get it dressed up and then we'll do some grinding. Okay, well that should be good. So we'll very carefully remove this rag here. Just don't gotta keep the grinding dust contained. We'll get our setup out of the way for Get our diamond dresser out of our road. It's just one off the surface grinder. I've just got a clamp to crossbar. approximate position I've got some magnets here to hold these rags in place like everything's pretty well protected there. So we'll 
put our lathe at the slowest speed. So I'll change the belt over to the next slower range of speeds because that's still a bit quick. So. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Um, as I said before, there's two options with um, your, your direction of rotation on the tool post grinder and the lathe. The usual way is a uh, wheel and part running the same direction. So to do that, you have your lathe running in reverse. The other way, you're counter rotating, so your, your wheel and your part are rotating, rotating in opposite directions. The advantage of this way is it reduces the surface speed of the part you're grinding. So some lathes won't go down very slow, so that's how you overcome it. So we'll try it the conventional way and we'll just see how it goes. Far, I just want to lock off our compound slide. Let's get an Allen key and lift that up. Just got to reduce every little point where things can uh, move, vibrate. It's not like turning, you know, where you, your tool pressure will overcome anything like that. So, okay.